Hello, and welcome to a sneak preview of the Frontiers of Flight Museum's Space Portal Odyssey capsule. That is our portable planetarium here at the museum. And we have made it virtual for you guys today. So we're going to look through a couple of things that we're going to hopefully be able to show off in the near future. We have our daytime sky here. and. This is the same program that we run in our portable planetarium here at the museum. And we can speed up time, head for nighttime, see a beautiful sunset. The museum is open and we are observing social distancing, but that doesn't work so well for the planetarium. So we are bringing it to you guys online. There is our gorgeous moon tonight. We can see our constellations, of course, coming out with the first few stars. Help you out a little bit there. And of course, if we have a good imagination, you can tell quite a few stories with them. And just like the planetarium, we are not limited to looking just at Earth. We can take a whole trip around the solar system. We will start out with our little preview with our moon. Let's go ahead and head for the moon. Are you ready? Three, two, one, blast off. Leaving Earth. Took the astronauts about three days to get to the moon. We're gonna do it in a little less time. And we can show off our full moon. We have full control in the planetarium. We can examine craters. We have programs that are available for all grade levels that are aligned to the TEKS standards. And we can even land on the moon, just like the astronauts did. Here we go. Let's find a nice open spot. There we go. And from this perspective, we can see our sun and we can even find the earth. Let's see, where did the earth go? right over there, thin little waning crescent Earth. Now, we are, of course, not limited to our moon. Our programs include tours of all the planets and the solar system, the Earth-Moon system, of course, but we can go out farther and find the next planet we have rising in our morning skies right now, Mars. Can you see Mars? That red dot way over there. Lots of people are wanting to head to Mars in the near future. And as of the time of this recording, we just launched the Perseverance rover, which is on its way there to study and search for ancient evidence of life on Mars. And I cannot wait to see what it finds. can of course see the details of the red planet covered in rust and dirt and dust. There's Valles Marineris, the largest canyon in the solar system, as wide as the United States. And we can head out even farther from Mars as we see the entire inner solar system there. moons of Mars, Phobos and Deimos. As we get a more distant view of our solar system, we can start heading out even farther. And you'll notice we still see the same stars, the same constellations. We're not 
nearly out far enough for them to have changed perspective yet. So we see the outer orbit of Saturn there. This is the realm of the comets, which we just had Neowise passing in. It would have come from way out here when the sun is just a tiny little dot, just like all the other stars in our Milky Way. That dusty band that stretches around us is in fact our galaxy. And with this program, we can actually fly through our galaxy and get many light years away from our sun. Now we can see the constellations start to lose their shape as the stars that make them up are only in those shapes from Earth's perspective. And as we get even farther out, we can model what we think the Milky Way's large scale structure is, which is that of a spiral galaxy as we get even farther out. Even though it's a spiral galaxy, we see it as a disk because we live on the inside and so we see it from the edge on. in our skies. And all of our constellations, what we looked at at the very beginning, actually fit inside that little dot right there. Let me get a little closer. Those are all the stars that we have in our night sky compared to all the stars in our Milky Way. So there is a lot of stuff to explore out there, our galaxy, our solar system, our moon, and I cannot wait to explore it with you guys. And we are so excited to start bringing these programs to you again from the Frontiers of Flight Museum. Let's go ahead and head on home. Want to land safely. Here we go. Got locked on Earth and three, two, one, blast off. Coming in for a landing. Back home, safe and sound. Thank you for coming and enjoying this sneak peek from the planetarium here at the Frontiers of Flight Museum. My name has been Ian Gray, and I cannot wait to show you the cosmos.